Greetings guys, welcome back to Wi-Fi Plays. This is a dead way. They're flying off without me. Um, I saw this game on Twitter slash X. Um, and I really like the pixel graphics. It's like a tactical um, turn-based strategy game, RPG, with I guess a, a group of adventurers. And it's in a steampunk world. Looks kind of cool. As a keep flies by. Let's um this is the demo. So let's jump in. So we need to make Oh, it's just a game slot, okay. We can be a level one shooter for a Barbadian. Let's try a shooter for the uh, demo, shall we? Select a game mode, prologue or sandbox? I guess prologue here. <laughs> Whispers in our heads. You're on board the ship flying in skies. The engines are running. The altitude is steady and the ship will fall into the abyss as soon as the fuel runs out. Well, it's not, doesn't sound too good. Look around and do not panic. Pay attention to the fuel level. Oh yeah, 100 out of 30. Doesn't look that bad. Only one third. My wife leaves it to here and goes, it's not a problem. All right. Um, there you can also find your character's health points and their gold. Zero gold. That's not as good because we can't buy fuel. Look at the map. There you can find the coordinate, uh, coordinate grid. Okay. Uh, you will need 100 fuel units to fly along uh, any side of a square okay well then we're in trouble they need some more petrol stations around here your first target is a smoking enemy vessel in the east wait i'll turn on the scout mode okay thanks when the object will be within your scouting range you will see the difficulty level now fly to the vessel and attack it one star pathetic no 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 we're probably one star too. So what's this? This is this is my 100 range. All right, this is how much fuel I'll have left, I guess. We've jumped on board their vessel. Your hero is in the center. The enemies are a pair of weak goblins. Press control and you will see the health of all units. Point the cursor at the unit and you will learn about the skills and effects in the corner of the screen. So point the cursor at the unit. Okay. A weak one. You will learn about the skills and effects in the corner of the screen. I guess maybe after it's not uh, finished this tutorial. Learn more about your enemy and then push the one closest to you. To do this, click on the skill on the bottom of the panel or press one. Shouldn't be standing right next to the uh, side of the boat there, mate. After choosing the skill, you will need to pick a target. Press right mouse button to cancel the skill. Okay. I don't see any information about him. Maybe he's a weak junior rogue. No animations yet. Oh, we've got to be able to see animations, but that'll probably come. <laughs> Aha! He fell overboard! The second one got stuck behind the boxes. The boxes can also be pushed, but if you push them towards a wall or an obstacle, the entire roll will receive one damage, including the goblin. Go on, try it. All we need is a push. And the uh, crate should move across, I guess. Gold, fuel, and we found one earth shard. Feels like fuel gets used up really quick. Bingo! You found some fuel. It will be enough to continue your flight. Oh, there was also a shard. Open the inventory to use it. Click on the backpack on the bottom panel to press or press I. Roger that. Put Earth Shard 1 in the corresponding slot. This shard gives you a new skill called Basic Hit. So the shards give us skills. Equip it and close the inventory. Hit an adjacent tile, one damage, two cooldown. What about my gun? I don't, that's just a showpiece. Sacrifice to the Abyss. Items sacrifice to the Abyss return 50% of their value, okay. Another ship. You see a new island on the edge of the clouds. Okay, here. But you can't reach it yet. Fly to the closest one. Start difficulty island. Are you ready for the next battle? Oh, it's another little island. I'm ready. 
So I try and use as little fuel as possible here. Okay. At the beginning of each turn, you may notice white elements on the ground. Oh, yeah. Uh, they will help you find out about the intentions of the enemy. For example, a big white filled square means that the cell will be attacked in the next turn. On their turn, the character will either move or use a skill. Enemies can move and set up an attack, which will be used in, in, the, be in the beginning of their next turn. If the enemy has prepared an attack, the setup icon will appear next to him, and the tile target of his attack will be seen on the ground. This means that he will definitely attack in this direction on the next turn. An enemy hasn't set up an attack, usually it means that you don't have to expect an attack from this enemy. However, bosses may use instant skills just like your character. Okay, now there are two attacks about to hit your character. And she will receive damage if she stays in place. The dangerous tile are marked with a white square. Yellow health points above the head show the damage you're about to receive. Step aside! Check on the unoccupied uh, un tile to do this. Okay. Next to the water, just have a little break. Or oh, did he shoot him? After your character action, it's enemy's turn to act. They act one after another. If you did everything right, the goblin shooter should shoot at his dagger welding crewmate, who in this turn should hit nothing. If it didn't happen, well, it's your choice, mate. Now it's time for even more friendly fire. Get back and prov provoke the goblins. Make them set up their attacks again. Your goal is to defeat all enemies, evade, put them under each other's attacks and find the best moment to strike. Note that the Goblin Shooter can't set up an attack if the character stays on an adjacent tile, but he can hurt you if you come close to him. After he sets up an attack, this is a feature of his skill. Good luck. Okay. After he sets up an If the character stays on the adjacent tile, but he can hurt you if he you come close to him after he set up an attack. I get ya. I think. So he's got one health, he's got two health. We could move here. And he'll come down, I guess. Uh oh. Alright. Gonna shoot the water barrel? No. So I stuffed it. Can I think about what they're gonna do in attack? I guess mine are instant. But he'll walk too, and then I'm going to be stuck here. So this guy can always attack me first turn, but this guy's to set up. So if I move over here, maybe. No. Now I'm completely screwed. Did I move two squares? No. So I stuffed it. I guess I'll just kill this guy. And then he's not attacking me yet. But he will right here. And I can't attack sideways. I guess I can do this. No, he's going to go that way. Because my attacks only do one damage or two damage. So I'll get hit. And he'll hit me. Oh, and he'll push me. Okay, it's like little puzzles. Alright, I get you. So we want to go... How do I kill this guy? I guess I can. I just lose a bit of life. Then I just attack him. He'll push me back. I dodge. I move up. He comes in. I kill him. And we just lose one health. And nothing else happened. All right. Have you noticed the level up notification? You did. Well done. 
You didn't? Well, it was there. Now open the skill tree. The tree icon on the bottom panel, press K. The icon will flash if a new skill is point is available. Whoa. This is the great ancient tree of the eternal wisdom. You can call it the tree. In the middle, you can see your push skill. That's where class branches sprout from. For now, there are only two classes available. You can pick if you want to be a barbarian or a shooter. Well, I feel like we should be a shooter. In the left top corner, you can see how many skill points you have. At the bottom, the find the shake the tree button. Press it if you want to reassign your skill points. You have one skill point available right now. Shake the tree to remove all your points. What will you choose? Ah, it's not my business. I'm not looking. Just press the close button as soon as you're done. All right. Range two to five. Can't be aimed point blank. One damage, three quarter. Wait, can't be aimed point blank? Oh, can't be aimed, but you can, if they come at you, you can still do it, maybe. All right, what do we got? Like, buckshot? Uh, damage to the adjacent tile, three damage. Or damage to three tiles behind it, one damage. Okay, like a shotgun. Okay, cool. Now, there is enough fuel to fly to the island behind the clouds. I'll tell you a secret. This is a peaceful island. Are we flying? I guess we are. We move. We can move the map. Kind of cool to explore it all later. Uh, we got town. It's not that peaceful, is it? Uh, the island is safe. You can relax. There is not many of those, but you will definitely stumble across them during your journey. You will find a dock in every settlement. There you can refuel the tank and upgrade the ship. There's Oh, upgrade the ship. Cool. There also might be some other buildings on the other islands, but this is one only as a dock. Let's head there. Whisper in your head. Refueling is the most important thing you can do at a dock. Fill the tank at the brim, to the brim. You can also upgrade the ship, but don't you don't have enough gold to do it. Press exit when you're done. Okay, so you want me to waste? That's harsh. So what do we got here? Improved speed. Ship speed 100% plus 10%. So just an extra 10% speed, which we then use less energy. What's this? Okay, one gold equals two fuel. Increase inventory size. Increase the tank volume. And we don't know. Okay. If you've if you've filled up the tank, there's nothing else to do here. Click on your ship to the corner to leave the island. Cool. The graphics are great. The the pixel art's really good. I like it. Ready to move on? You need to fly east. But the next island is far too far away. Ships are flying through the, these places. Just take them to replenish your fuel. Fly past the town and press shift to wait for an enemy ship. Um, and attack it. Note, these ships won't wait for you to attack them. So you'll have to close, chase or intercept them. We're bound, we're... Uh... Oh, okay. Kind of automatically puts us in there. Wow, there are a lot of enemies on the ship. Are you surprised? All the previous battles were just warm up. Enjoy. By the way, if you need to wait it out and skip the turn, click on the hourglass at the bottom. Okay. We can push one off. I feel like it's going to be very hard to take out these dudes. So is it... As long as I survive, I get all my health back, I guess. So to kill these guys, I'm going to have to take a little bit of damage. Unless there's a, a way I can push them. I guess there is. But I'm going to get attacked on the side anyway. I'm just going to push them. All right. Hmm. Nothing to push him into yet. Uh oh. So my gun's not helping me at the moment. 
If I move here, they're going to attack me on both sides. I don't want to be able to do anything. And I've only got one health left. I can't attack sideways. And these are all instant. If I shoot this, what happens then? Nothing. I guess I can get them, um... I'm gonna have to take a damage again. Oh no, I can do this and then shoot. And then I can attack. And then move back, shoot. Okay. Alright, I got ya. 200 fuel, we can't take it all. Ah, uh, you're still alive. Well, I'm glad. Keep it up. Remember that your destination is the Eastern Island. Oh, and don't forget to level up. Okay, okay. Now we got a buckshot. Is that right? Because we got that, yeah. Damage to the adjacent tile, three damage. That's amazing. Because now I can take people out instantly. I'm not shaking that tree. So I can press shift to let people move. But I may as well move a bit. Oh, what's down here? Oh, what's down here? Do, 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 Oh, he's got little traps set up on me. I'm guessing the cooldown on that's not instant. Five turns. Okay, that's the problem there. Can I get him to run into his own trap? Oh. Luckily, we had that attack. Okay, we're not going to get an attack here, unfortunately. But we can move them around a bit. I could have attacked them with the buckshot then. So they're, they're more like puzzles more than... Um, do we get anything out of that? Do we get some fuel? We just get here. We're gonna get two health uh fuel left. What do we take on one of these ships before we go? See if we can get a couple of uh fuel from it. So this will do hmm. Or damage to the three tiles behind. Okay, okay. Now what's going to happen? Everyone's going to attack me. Well, I'm screwed. Are they going to push me? Guess we'll take two damage here. Oh, he pushed me or something instead? I just want to get close to him so I can buck... No, I'm not, I haven't got buckshot. How do I take this guy out? I need a, I need a right angle attack. Oh, I can just push him. Alright, we've got 200 fuel. What have we got? Plus one speed, five turns, cooldown 10. Damage to the adjacent tile, four. Okay. Mark. Distance one to five, plus two damage to the target, three rounds. Okay. Alright, let's get to the get to the island. We haven't got much fuel left though. You've arrived at the destination. Your new enemy is a goblin hunter. Oh, we've already taken on one of them. He uses bear traps and sometimes steps in them for himself. What can I say? He's dumb as rock. Keep in mind that traps are dangerous, both for you and your enemies. 
You can also throw a net in a straight line. It immobilizes everyone on the tile and all adjacent tiles try to avoid. Bing in his line of sight or just stay away from him. Okay. All right, we'll take this guy out in a single hit. Do we? I know this would be good, but then we get immobilized. I feel like the only way you kill this guy is to buckshot him. So I get an extra plus one movement when I do this. I could just shoot him first. Let's see what's going on here. What's the distance? He's not taking me out. So I could either buckshot him. We've got enough life to do this. And then I could wait because they're not they're not the smartest things on the block. And then let him come to us. So he's not going to come closer. There he goes. Okay. Wind shard. Range attacks plus one damage. Nice. Stores 10 HP. That's interesting. Then will you start... Keeping your life. Restore one HP. You're gonna have a lot of health later on, eh? Sure wasn't easy, but you've loot the loot is worth it. Open your inventory to see what you found. Just looked at all. New shards, cool, put them on. There are also some bandages and a first aid kit. They can be used immediately. Right mouse button or equipped as a quick item. Then they will appear as a healing skill in the battlefield. Equipped as a quick item. Used immediately, like you get your health back at the moment. Ranged attacks. HP plus two. Oh yeah, that's good. Then we just do these. Where do I put these? Up here. Quick items. Bum. Damn. Done. Look, this honors two stars. Are you ready? Let's go. Not really. Um, okay. Holy moly. All right. We got a bomber. Study the goblin with daggers. Uh, he's stronger than usual. Carefully read the description of each of his skills to be ready for the, if I anything. How do you read his skill? Oh, there it is. There is also a new enemy on the island. Grenade, Goblin Grenade. It throws mines and stuns grenades. Mines are easy to dodge. You just need to watch out for its attack setups. Stun grenades weaken everyone who got hit by them. The only way I can get out of that is by moving all the way down here with my extra movement. Or shoot him. Is this guy pushing me? Grenaders is weak for now, but he will become stronger in the future. Stay sharp visiting new islands and don't forget to study your enemies. Good luck. Okay, now I can see it at the top there. Well, could I have done that before? I'm not sure. About to sneeze, though. All right. Um, so I could... Whoa, he got tons of health. So I'm going to get pushed, which isn't bad. Is it a push? Strike two tiles forward. Because I'm not going to get hurt if he just pushes me. So if I shoot this guy... And he just destroyed... Okay, he destroyed those. I don't think I do two damage yet. Um, I could just buckshot him out of the way, but then what about this guy? I could move here, but I'm... If I move here, these guys will try and attack me instantly. Oh my goodness.
This lets me get a free shot in. He's attacking me instantly? What is he doing? He's doing the double attack. Alright, I'm a bit worried here. Alright, I get a free attack. Take him out. Oh, he threw the thing on him, so he can't move. Then I guess I do it. How much? He's doing two damage to me. We gotta take some damage, deal some damage, eh? He's only got two health, so if I just stay here. I'm the fast shooter here, guys. So if I do a buckshot here. Damage to an adjacent tile, three damage. Or damage to the next, to the three tiles behind, one damage. Wait, what? Why doesn't it do the same thing on this side? Oh, only in front and behind, maybe? Not... No, it doesn't matter which way you're looking, does it? Or maybe there's nothing for me to hit here? Is he going to step in his own trap here? He's too smart for that. Okay, so... It's just saying if I can hit anything or not. All right. So this will work now. Okay. Roger that. You're alive once again. Well, I'm not surprised anymore. Now fly to the safe island on the north. Okay, I will. Here, more buildings are available. First, refill at the dock. Don't forget that you won't fly far without enough fuel. Don't rush to buy ship upgrades. I was just about to rush because what if I just grab some ships out there? After you are done with the ref refueling, go and visit the tavern and the lighthouse. Okay. Plus two damage to the target, three rounds, six cooldown. Speed plus one. Is that a passive? Two damage, snipe shot. Ignore obstacles. I'm going this way at the moment. But that passive speed looks good. Alright, you want me to fuel up? What if I just fuel up a little bit? Look at the, look at the money we've got. Guys, ship speed. All right, uh, tavern. Have you noticed that after each battle, the hero's health is restored? It won't always be like this. Oh, okay. In the tavern, you can relax and restore your health. It's pretty cheap. Okay. That makes sense. Keep calm, do rest. I'm not that character. Is he the quartermaster? Maybe it swaps to me if I'm the other person. From the entrance door of the lighthouse, a corridor leads past a locked living room to a high staircase. At the top, oh wait, I just realized there's no sounds of gunfire or anything, is there? So there's gotta be lots of sounds and animations and all that coming in. Um, at the top there is a sophisticated device that allows you to explore the surrounding surroundings in any weather to use the device you need to pay. The lighthouse is a cool place. It allows you to explore the surroundings without leaving the town. The map can be scaled, zoom, mouse scroll, and moved. Middle mouse button. By the way, do you know that this also works in flight mode? What? If you have some spare money, use lighthouse to scout. All unexplored locations are hidden behind clouds. Click on them and they will disappear just like your money. Okay. Do you... Do you see dense clouds uh, that do not disperse after exploration? They can seriously slow down the ship. Don't forget about this. Somewhere far to the east, there's a city that you need to get to. 
As soon as you're done planning your route, fly out to the town. Now that you know everything, you can do anything. Nothing will stop you. We can zoom out. We can move around. It's telling me this. Oh, this is thick clouds. But we don't know. So I can explore by using left click. Okay. They're the thick clouds, maybe. Cost me 50 bucks. Doesn't even get it all. What is that? What is that? Is this the town? Found it. Alright, I'm done. 50 bucks per hit? Now I can't get this. I don't think I need an inventory space. But I'll grab this. And I'll grab that. That should be enough. We'll just fight our way through. Okay, leave town. I can't. You want me to fuel my tank first? What's this? Quest log. How do I get out of here? It doesn't want me to leave. I might close and restart. All right, I just closed and restart and this is happening. So maybe I didn't reveal enough of the map here. Shiver my timbers. And, uh, do you remember how I said nothing would stop you? I was wrong, sorry. The prologue has been successfully completed. And there's a humongous kraken. Space is torn to pieces by the terrible cry of the ancient. Your ship has turned to splinters. Your body was thrown overboard straight into the abyss. Wake up. Deja vu. A moment ago you were falling into the abyss and now you are standing in the main square of the busy town. Was it really just a dream? It's creepy. A wave of chills run down your body as you notice that you are tightly clutching a piece of stone in your hand. What the heck? Do we make it? Do we make it here? We've only got three HP. Let's reset everything. There aren't many adventurers in town right now, so the mayor personally greets everyone. After introducing himself to you, he immediately gets down to business. After the recent crisis, we lost contact with the capital. The golems are mad, taking over the island right and left. We really need to capture far our farms from them. Can you help me? The first one is located in the east west, and the path is safe enough, but be ready. The fight will not be easy. You should prepare you first. Give me the map. I'll show you the right place. Okay, now we got it. We've got a tavern and a dock and a lighthouse. Okay, so now it's the start of the new map that you can play with. I think that's probably enough now for the uh, for the just a look at the game. Kind of cool. I don't know if you get two characters or not, or if you only have one character the whole game. Maybe it's only one character. No, look, you got. So that's cool. You get like a group of characters, um, and they all have skills and everything. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. The combat is different than I expected. It's kind of like yeah, into the breach, which it does say it is. It's more like a puzzle rather than a, a tactical strategy game um but i quite like it and the graphics look great and it's got some cool concepts i like it there we go guys you can play this yourself i'll put the link in the description and this has been dead weight thank you so much for watching white falcon out